talk about all things robotics and their place in the world, their growing place in the world. We're joined by David Lee. He's the director of Xuanmi Technology, an AI company working on motion capture for virtual humans. Uh, David, thanks very much. Uh, pretty fascinating what's going on there. 400 uh, professionals and professional organizations. Uh, so what's the purpose, the main theme? Let's talk a bit about that at this year's conference and what foreign exhibitors are looking at because clearly there's a lot for consumers right now. Yeah, well, I think first of all, is the, it, it's a big conference. Uh, it's a five-day conference. Uh, it's on, not only the professional side. Uh, I think the professional are coming to China to look at the, the market and also the supply chain. 50% uh, of the other industrial robots deployed last year uh, were in China, and that has been uh, this percentage for the past decade. Um, so, first of all, China is a huge market for robotics. Uh, second is the, uh, the the supply chain has come into maturity. Right. Um, it's right now relatively easy uh, to start in uh, a robot business here, uh, just leveraging the supply chains for most of the part. Uh, so, the yeah, huge exhibition, uh, um, I think everybody's here, uh, everybody who's who involvement in robotics around the world are uh, here in Beijing this week. Uh, not only that, um, that's also the, the, the other track of this is this uh, general education, uh, science education uh, for kids. Uh, the event not just having a professional track. Uh, also, there's the uh, high school kid uh, competition. Right. Um, so the event attracting uh, I guess these years they are looking at 800, 900 thousand people attending uh, during this week. Yeah, and also um, AI, uh, the design process is really revolutionizing everything. Talk about some of these key technologies and robotics that are being showcased and some of the emerging trends uh, that are out there. Yeah, I think AI and as well as the simulation of what would be called the metaverse uh, is coming to become very helpful in terms of robot design. Uh, physical robot, uh, we can only have a few of them uh, and then getting them to do a lot of things in real life is time consuming. Uh, right now we are at the stage we can simulate them, uh, we can simulate reality. Uh, so now we can have a lot of robots doing uh, a lot of simulation uh, with the assistance of AI. Uh, this is really speeding up uh, the development. Yeah, and so uh, also, let's in, look at all the fields uh, that are out there for the robotics involvement. You have manufacturing, agriculture, logistics, and healthcare. It's so important in healthcare. We, we know that someone who suffers a stroke getting to that individual very quickly, making the proper diagnosis, and certainly robotics can step in where uh, humans have always done this in, in the past. Yeah, not just, <clears throat> not just that on the first day uh, of ability, uh, it's also the uh, robotic, robotics has been uh, very helpful in terms of the, the recovery. Uh, the, when we recouping, when we do the, the physical uh, therapies, uh, robot has been great help uh, in terms of the uh, for the patient uh, through the process. Uh, we are going to see a huge uh, application and deployment uh, of robot across sector, uh, and a lot of them are going to be visible uh, in the societal way. Uh, recently, that's the the trial of the uh, robot taxi uh, in Wuhan, uh, in Shanghai, um, the, the the robot chef has been tested in community content, continues to deliver affordable meals uh, to the low income residents. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a very exciting uh, times to be involving in robotics in China these days. And David, I also want to talk about just the overall progress that has been made in the design and construction of these robots, because we had some up there, and they're so lifelike. It's somewhere between amazing and kind of creepy. <laughs> but people are going to have to get used to this, aren't they? 
Oh yeah, the, I, I I think we have been. Uh, it, it's very funny. Uh, yesterday there was this. Uh, oh, th this is uh, one of the company in, uh, in the in the conference. Uh, it's called Unitree. Uh, they released their humanoid robots. Announced they are going massive production. Uh, the the interesting part is the their action is so lifelike. Uh, a lot of people think they are just rendered. They are they are they are Hollywood magic. They are movie magic, but they are reality. And I think there's a, a tendency. We, we have been kind of been uh, put into this perspective of robot being very robotic like movement. Yeah. Uh, but in reality, we have advanced to the point they are like life. Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, for the next few years, uh, we are going to be shocked, surprised, uh, and then we'll get used to it.